All right, Jennifer asks, can you explain what you think would happen if someone bought an island and tried to start a new free society on it? So uh, people have tried to do this. Uh, first of all, it's impossible to buy an island because nobody will actually sell you an island with sovereignty. So the best you can do is you can, you can create an artificial island uh, in international waters so that nobody can claim sovereignty on the island. So you basically, there's technology that exists. You can look at it in the Seasteading Institute. Others, there are places that are shallow enough that you can actually put uh, uh, spikes, uh, pillars into the, into the ocean bed, and you can build a whole island that is an artificial island in international water, so nobody has sovereignty on it. And you can build your libertarian utopia on that island. The problem is then nobody's going to let you do it. So even if you went out there and started building, and actually they let you build it, right? And it, and it was established. And then you started, you know, it wasn't just a couple of hippies living out of a sleeping bag and fishing for a living, but you actually established a city that was floating, and you had banks, and you had institutions, and you actually had a civilization there, a, a, a country, a, a real, something real. Then... What would happen, right? The banks would be free banks, and you'd be able to, you know, you'd have real bank privacy, and, y y you know, you wouldn't ask them where the money came from, and you wouldn't bother with money laundering laws and drug money. You wouldn't care, and all the stuff that in a free society a, a bank wouldn't trouble itself with. How long do you think the United States of America would let you survive? You know, how long do you think that anybody would let you survive? They would board claim you were, you were violating international banking laws or whatever, and shut you down. And if not banking laws, then drug laws or, uh, you know, uh, money laundering laws or, or black market laws or whatever. They'd find an excuse to shut you down. The statists of the world are not going to allow a truly free society to rise up amongst them without trying to annihilate it. And people say, oh... But, but it would be screened on television and people wouldn't tolerate the violence. Really? Where do you live? I live on planet Earth in the 21st century. And I, I remember when the world stood by, and I, I'm not saying the world shouldn't have stood by, but I remember when the world stood by with very little criticism in the big picture. When, uh, you know, Slovaks, uh, um, Serbians, sorry, just you know, slaughtered Muslims and Croatians and whoever they didn't like in Europe, in the heart of Europe. And what did cultural Europeans do about it? They complained. They went on TV and said it was awful. But they didn't do anything about it. Nobody cares. So if you have your utopian libertarian society, whatever the hell that would be, and people don't like it and they want to destroy it, nobody's going to stop them. Nobody's going to stop them. Right. Um, so, yeah, which we shut down. So I've often said, half joking, half serious, that the only way to establish such a society is if you had a nuke, if this island had a nuke pointed at Washington, D.C., and made sure that, you know, you don't mess with us, we won't mess with you, just leave us alone and let us live our free lives independent of you. So you have to be able to protect your freedom with, a, with, with weapons with real weapons, weapons that people fear, because the bad guys will always use weapons. You have to be able to protect your life with weapons. And that's not a, that's not a, a, a gun control statement about what kind of weapons you should have at home. That is a global statement about in order to survive, you have to have weapons on your side, on your side, whether you own them in the house or whether you're part of the country with a military that can solve the problem. All right, another question.